Alrighty, so here we are on the classwork for 3.4 and 3.5. Goal for today is to do two through seven. So I'm going to kind of walk you through them again. Oops, I need a different pen. So number two, write the opposite of each number and label the points on the number line. So the opposite of nine would be negative nine. And then they want you just to label these points on the number line. So point A is at the positive 9. So down here you put a point, letter A. There you go. So that's number 2. Number 3, study the first example in words. Write the meaning of the opposite. Write the integer that represents the opposite of each real world situation. Use the first as an example. So an M positive charge of negative of seven it doesn't matter if you don't know what an atom is okay so the opposite of a positive would be a negative and then you're going to write the integer well a negative charge of seven would be negative seven okay um so like if you look at say you know part d a rise of 45 degrees celsius the opposite would be a fall of 45 degrees celsius and then the integer for that dropping would be negative 45. okay so that's number three number four and five kind of similar number four says on a number line locate and label a credit of 38 dollars and a debit for the same amount you should have two points on your graph what does zero represent so all you need to do, they give you the two numbers, like we're talking about 38. So there's a positive 38 and a negative 38. Okay, and then you're plotting the points. And then what does zero represent? So that's four and five. Six, um, Jose grabbed the opposite of the opposite of three on a number line. Or he graphed. First, he graphed point P on the number line, three units to the right of zero. Next, he graphed the opposite of P, three units to the left of zero, and labeled it K. Finally, he graphed the opposite of K and labeled it Q. Is his diagram correct? So you kind of have to follow along. And then for part B, write the relationship between the points. So like for P and K, the relationship, no, they're opposites. Okay, that's what you should be thinking about. And then number seven, write the integer that best represents the statement. Locate and label each point on the number line below. Um, for your number line, I would count by ones. You know, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then same thing going the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, negative ten. All right. The opposite of a gain of six would be a loss, right? And that'd be negative six. So you'd put that down here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This would be negative six. And this would be 0.8. So that's the theme for number seven, all right? So that's what you're working on today. So you can go back now and finish up all of the rest of the problems, two through seven. If you need more help, you can email me, um, ask me in class or come to office hours.